Yes. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I ask uh, unanimous consent that the chairman be authorized uh, to declare recess during today's meeting. Without objection, so ordered. Uh, welcome. And by the way, just for a moment of history, uh, this uh, was in the trust of Ward McArger, longtime counsel to the committee, and it was uh, Jim Overstar's uh, gavel, and uh, I'm honored to be using it here today. So it, it's inspiring. So welcome to the Organizational Meeting for Transportation Infrastructure Committee for the 116th Congress. I want to begin by thanking uh, most of my colleagues for being here today. I, uh, we will have uh, a lot to do, and I can think of no better uh, partner than uh, Representative Sam Graves, our new ranking member. Uh, I know we can uh, accomplish some good stuff together. Didn't wear your transportation tie today. Uh, I'm also looking forward uh, to working with all of you uh, in the tradition of this committee on both sides uh, of the aisle. We've gotten uh, a lot of good things done uh, in the otherwise somewhat gridlocked Congress, and I intend to condition, uh, continue that tradition uh, with all of you. Uh, it's the way all of Congress should work. Uh, I only wish that it did. Uh, so, uh, today we're meeting to introduce new members of the committee, adopt rules, appoint subcommittee chairs and ranking members, and appoint members of subcommittee. Uh, first, uh, I will um, welcome new members to the committee. Uh, this uh, Congress has set uh, records in terms of diversity, background, education, skills with members. Uh, I uh, got permission to expand the committee by six, three members on each side, uh, so we can better capitalize on that uh, diversity and expertise. Uh, new Democratic members, there's some that are not new to the Congress, but are joining the committee for the first time. Uh, Representative Steve Lynch, Massachusetts, uh, 17 years in Congress. Uh, he joins us now as the sole representative of Massachusetts, and Steve has been a champion of uh, working Americans, workers' rights, uh, and American families. Uh, uh, Representative Salud Carvajal from California. Uh, Representative Carbajal joins the committee uh, from California. Proud to announce he will be our committee's new vice chair uh, for this Congress. Uh, he served as the Santa Barbara County Supervisor. I was a county commissioner also, a great way to get here and train. And as a board member for the National Association of Counties, uh, Rep. Anthony Brown, and I can't see where everybody is, but I know you're out there. I saw you earlier, there you go. <laughs> uh, uh, joins us from Maryland, uh, not too far from where we sit today. Uh, as Lieutenant Governor, he helped pass more than $4 billion in new infrastructure investments in the state, and he's going to help us with our colleagues on Ways and Means, extracting the money we need for these programs. Uh, uh, Rep. Uh, Adriano Esplat, uh, from, he's the committee's only representative uh, from New York City, uh, the first Dominican-American uh, in Congress, and the first formerly undocumented, I didn't know this, undoc undocumented immigrant to be elected to Congress. Well, welcome, Adriano. Uh, the freshman Democratic members who will be joining our committee are Rep. Tom Malinowski, New Jersey. Uh, prior to running, he served as a senior director of President Clinton's National Security Council, Assistant Secretary of State for Democracy, Human Rights and Labor under President Obama. Uh, Rep. Greg Stanton of Arizona. Rep. Stanton joins us from Arizona, served as mayor of Phoenix for six years. He successfully led bipartisan voter proof plan to triple Phoenix uh, light rail system, expand bus service, and improve thousands of miles of roadways. And he did uh, raise those taxes while he was up for re-election, uh, which should inspire some here who are concerned about uh, revenues. Uh, Rep. Uh, <coughs> Debbie Mercasell Powell, uh, she is from uh, South Florida, uh, passionate about uh, restoring the Everglades, working for properly maintained water infrastructure, uh, and uh, her district, like many, would benefit from an increased connectivity, improved highways, and I know there's one area where we need to restore water flow. I visited um, that issue, that problem before. Um, Rep. Uh, uh, Lizzie Fletcher from Texas joined us from the greater Houston area. Uh, prior to election, she represented uh, Houstonians in the courtroom as a lawyer on a wide range of matters. Uh, we welcome her expertise. Rep. Uh, Colin Alred, uh, also from Texas, civil rights attorney former NFL linebacker, uh, already also served at the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. Uh, Rep. Uh, Cherise Davids from Kansas. Uh, she's from the Kansas City metro area, transportation intermodal hub for freight, rail, and trucking. 
White House fellow at the Department of Transportation under President Obama. Also spent time working on the Pine Ridge Reservation, bringing infrastructure to places where there was none. Uh, we have a long uh, neglected uh, Indian country in, uh, in our service bills, and I think uh, Sharice will be sure that we don't uh, in this one. Uh, Rep. Uh, Abby Finkenauer, Iowa, joins us uh, from Northeast Iowa. Before coming to Congress, she served in the Iowa Legislature, where she served on the Transportation Committee. Uh, Rep. Jesus Chuy uh, Garcia from Illinois. Uh, he, uh, before he ran for Congress, he served on the Cook County Board of Commissioners. Uh, Rep. Antonio Delgado, New York. Uh, he has, has the eighth most rural district in the nation, if you can believe there are still places like that in New York. Uh, before running for Congress, Rep. Delgado had a career in the music industry as well as working as an attorney. Uh, Rep. Chris Pappas, New Hampshire. Uh, uh, Rep. Pappas joins uh, from New Hampshire where he is an executive counselor, led efforts to update New Hampshire's 10-year transportation plan, familiar with the importance of transportation at local, state, and now federal levels, and his experiences will be important to our committee. Uh, Rep. Angie Craig from Minnesota. Uh, she uh, believes in investing in transportation as a critical part of keeping the economy competitive, putting uh, people back to work, and keeping uh, Americans safe. And finally, uh, Rep. Harley Ruda from California, uh, Southern California. He uh, believes in using infrastructure policy to combat, I think that probably means climate change. <laughs> My notes say policy change, but who knows. Uh, well, welcome uh, to our new members of the committee. Uh, welcome to you all, um, and uh, welcome to our returning members. Um, and I, I want to note at this point, we are going to have a stakeholder reception tonight, and all members are invited starting at 5 o'clock. Sam and I are hosting that, uh, and uh, look forward to being, you all being there and meeting with some of the people and the industries you'll be working with. And with that, I recognize uh, uh, Sam uh, Graves, the ranking member, for a statement.